go ahead and get things started tonight by checking in on potential tropical cyclone four. So as of now, it is sitting right over Cuba and is going to keep moving west northwest throughout the next couple of days. And it will enter the Gulf of Mexico probably sometime later tomorrow night or Sunday morning. And so once it enters the Gulf, it enters an area of favorable environmental conditions that will potentially help it strengthen into either tropical depression or a tropical storm as it approaches Florida. And so based upon that, the National Hurricane Center has given it an 80% chance of development over the next two days and a 90% chance of development over the next seven days. And so the National Hurricane Center has issued a cone of uncertainty for what will be potential tropical depression or storm Debbie. And so as of now, they're looking at it continuing to move up the west coast of Florida, making landfall probably sometime on Sunday or Saturday, and then we'll keep moving eastward and continue up the eastern coast of the United States. And so out of an abundance of caution, the National Hurricane Center and local weather offices in Florida have issued a tropical storm watch or tropical storm warning for portions of the southern Florida coast and up the west coast of Florida until 2 p.m. tomorrow as that storm approaches and some conditions are possible. What they're looking out for right now is some storm surge as well as tropical storm force winds and heavy rainfall as the storm will be slow moving. But if we go back and look at what happened in the Contra Valley last month, here is our temperature outlook. So we had three days at normal of 97 degrees. We had a lovely stretch of cooler temperatures giving us 10 days below normal this month, but we did have 18 days above average with our highest day being all the way back on July 2nd, so a month ago at 106 degrees. Our weather headlines for tonight, we're keeping our eye out for some scattered showers and storms possible this weekend. We're looking at a weak cold front to sit place just north of the area that will give some unsettled conditions, allowing for some storms to fire up. Now with these storms, there is the potential for some strong wind gusts, but nothing severe is expected. But we are looking at a return to some 100 degree weather next week that will be borderline heat advisory criteria. Live look at radar right now, nothing much going on. Temperatures across the Contra Valley, 101 in San Angelo, 103 up in Robert Lee. Coleman's the hottest at 104. Across the state right now, we see a bunch more triple digits, Wichita Falls, El Paso. They're also over that triple digit mark today. We look at our future cast. Here is that front. It's going to approach and just sit north of us on tomorrow. And there's tomorrow afternoon. We see those showers that will begin to push through clear out on Sunday that front turns stationary giving us a lingering chance of showers and storms but for tonight low 74 degrees mostly clear tomorrow high of 101 with that 20 percent chance of showers and storms here's a look at our 70 we see our rain chances throughout the weekend before those temperatures warm back up throughout the second half of the week